Well, good day, everyone. This is Chris with the Ancient Scholar. So, uh, I'd like to do something kind of interesting today, and I was just uh, all over the news, and perhaps some of you are aware of this, and if, if not, I would like to go ahead and just uh, talk about this, and kind of kind of go ahead and uh, put my two cents in, if you will, and, and, and obviously that, that really isn't going to be worth a whole lot, uh, you know, because I'm certainly not at the, the forefront of... Um, all this, this this physics business by by any means. I'm certainly not a physicist uh, or anything uh, anything like that. But but this is uh, this is quite interesting, and I want to go ahead and just just discuss it. So uh, if you guys haven't heard already, uh, this is uh, some findings, some some pretty pretty potentially I will say potentially uh, significant findings. In fact, uh, probably uh, some of the most significant uh, f uh, physical findings uh, in, in in the last century. You know, since you know, really, uh, since quantum mechanics really, um, you know, be became more and more refined. You know, in the in the twenties, thirties, and forties, you know, we haven't had a you know really great physical breakthrough. Obviously, there there are theories, uh, you know, string theory, M theory, and we've all heard about that. And um, it, but uh, this is actually something that that has, is physical in the sense that it has been measured. So this is incredible. Um, potentially incredible. I, I, you know, obviously, um, I'm not going to come out and just say, "Oh, yeah, this is confirmed." Uh, but uh, certainly, uh, the potential implications are, are pretty profound. So, um, uh, this actually happened. This happened several months ago, but um, it's just now kind of coming to to to, the, the, to light in the popular media. Uh, after uh, the the parties involved have spent a fair, fair amount of time, uh, no doubt. Uh, confirming that, that this is in fact what what uh, is really going on. So um, uh, this is uh, out of CERN, it's a European Center for European Nuclear Research, and uh, it was actually a, a particle accelerator in Geneva, and uh, <clears throat> they went ahead and shot a beam of neutrinos uh, from Geneva over uh, to Italy. Um, uh, to a lab, lab 454, uh, 454 miles or 730 kilometers away. Um, okay, fine, not a big deal. You know, we shoot neutrinos, no big deal. Uh, obviously, neutrinos are a pretty, pretty mysterious particle. Um, a lot of interesting things going on with neutrinos and and in the sun and um, decay pathways and so on. Uh, but uh, here's the interesting news. Here's the interesting news. Um, the uh, the particles were detected, or they arrived 60 nanoseconds faster uh, than the speed of light. Let me say that again. This is a kind of an interesting. Uh, uh, traveled 60 second nanoseconds faster than the speed of light. Uh, obviously, that's you know, it was, uh, nanoseconds about a billionth of a second. It is a billionth of a second, so pretty minuscule time period, but uh, frame of time. But but again. 60 second, nanoseconds uh, faster than the speed of light with a calculated margin of error of 10 nanoseconds. Um, so if this is in fact true, the, the calculations um, in this, this margin of error is in fact correct. Um, this is pretty profound. Um, this, is, this is profound because uh, obviously uh, this is not in any theory that, that I'm or not in any mainstream theory. Uh, certainly not in one of the most successful uh, theories in the last century, um, relativity, uh, special relativity in general relativity, but uh, special relativity predicts uh, that nothing can go faster than the speed of light. Um, and the fact that the the speed of light, this constant c, um, is supposed to be universal constant, and it is um, obviously an integral part of what's known as uh, mass energy equivalence um, equations, where uh, mass and energy are basically um, equivalent, and uh, we can use the this uh, c as kind of a constant um, to relate the two and of course the two common formulas that, that come out of this are um, uh, of course E equals MC square when we talk about just simply just, just rest the rest mass of a particle and we talk about a particle with with momentum and that's actually what this P is here momentum 
um, then um, we have to add in uh, m squared c to the fourth plus this uh, momentum squared uh, c squared. Uh, most people are probably m m familiar with e equals mc squared. Um, so all of that has kind of dictated, it kind of relies on c as being basically a coefficient, a constant. Uh, this potentially is, is pretty profound in its implications. Um, uh, not only that we apparently have something that can go faster than the speed of light, um, but what I find, personally, what I find very profound about it is that it is the fact that, that neutrinos uh, seem to have mass. A very, very small amount of mass, but they, but they are, they are a... a um, particle with, with mass, non-zero mass. Uh, this is even more um, more profound to me. Uh, you know, simply not, not only that, you know, because we, we've, to date, have every test that we've ever done, other than I, I think there were some some tests done in Fermi lab, and I'm sure there's some some going to be some some physicists. <laughs> they're probably going to correct me, but I, I believe there were there were some uh, experiments done in the um, 2006 2007, right around there, uh, that had similar results to this one today. But the margin of error was was really large in 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 that experiment uh, or those those series of experiments. Um, so it wasn't as significant. Obviously, the margin of error is pretty small here. And you know, if if this is verified, uh, obviously this is profound. But um, kind of going back to my other point, um, so yes, we have something that appears potentially goes faster than the speed of light. That is is profound, very profound. I can't even fathom what the potential implications of that would be. Uh, also, uh, what what is profound is that um, um, basically to, to give you the Reader's Digest version of it. Nothing with math, mass is supposed to travel. It, it can even get to the speed of light, let alone faster than the speed of light. Uh, the convention was that you know, um, you know, we need basically you would need an infinite amount of energy to get something to the speed of light that has mass, and and that that's why light or photons, um, you know, obviously uh, waves. If you're looking at it as a wave, or photons, if you're looking at it as a particle, but Anyway, look at it. It doesn't have any mass. Um, it, it, light doesn't have any or any rest mass, at least. Um, it, photons are massless particles. You know, they're they're um, they're they're bosons, um, and they don't have any mass. And that's why they can go the speed of light because they don't have any mass. Um, and, and basically, to to, to 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 sum it up, make make you know without going into math and, and all the, the craziness, but you know, um, so this is double crazy in that there apparently there is a particle that not only potentially is going faster than the speed of light, but um, it's a particle that has mass that's going faster than the speed of light potentially. Uh, wow, 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 wow. That's that's all I can say. Uh, this is very exciting, uh, to say the least. This is this is uh, very exciting, um, but of course it could could be a dud. Uh, I have to admit that. Uh, I would certainly like it not to be because that would just be really interesting, and something profound and interesting occurring in my lifetime. Um, wow! What 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 an incredible thing. Uh, so that's kind of my my thoughts on this. I, again, I, I'm not coming out and saying that, that this is a discovery. It's it's a bona fide discovery. It, it's potential. Um, things are looking really good here. The 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 the, um, the researchers have a pretty high level of confidence. Um, I I believe that there's some verification uh, uh, physicists from uh, Japan, the United States, and other countries, no doubt. Um, pending, you know, so this is kind of a pending discovery status, but uh, boy, if this pans out, wow, 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 um, this this would be this would be really interesting. That's about all I can say. Uh, as, as you can tell, I'm I'm really excited about this, and I'm I'm really excited to to kind of um, uh, bring this to you guys. If if you're not already aware, it's probably all over Google and everything by now. But uh, anyway, uh, those are my thoughts, and uh, as always, thanks for hanging in there, guys.